Hello, everybody. I know this is a little different, but this is your pre recorded lesson. So now you can look at it anytime you want, you and your family, and you can discuss the lesson that we're going over tonight. Now we will be back together really soon. We'll come back for our Zoom uh, meeting on the last Thursday of the month at 6.30. And I'm asking you to bring your favorite snack. We're gonna have a lesson, play games, do some chatting, find out about how school is, because by then everybody would be back in school. Okay, so let's get started. And before we do, we're going to pray. So Father God, I thank you for every child, every family member that is listening to this lesson. I pray, Lord God, that this lesson will be something, Lord God, that they can use, Lord God, as they go through their day, go through their weeks, oh God, to be able to strengthen um, their faith and their belief in you, God, to be able to strengthen their prayer life, oh God as we talk tonight about prayer. God, I thank you for the opportunity, and it's in Jesus' name that I pray, amen, amen. So that's exactly what we're gonna talk about tonight is prayer, all right? So it is time for the word. And so tonight's memory scripture comes from Luke 18 and one. And uh, the New Living Trans, um, Translation is where we're going to be reading from. And it says, one day Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should always pray and never give up. Always pray and never give up. I know that you know what a judge is. A judge is a person who knows what is fair, and he's the person or she's a person that uh, is in the court system where you go before the judge to find out whether or not uh, you've been found guilty or innocent, whether or not those things that um, uh, you're asking for will be given to you. So in this story, um, this parable, which is one of my favorite parables, it's really called the parable of the persistent widow. Jesus says in the story that the woman said to the judge, there is a man who is not being fair to me. Give me my rights. Now at first, the judge refused to do anything. He ignored her. He didn't want to hear it. But the woman kept asking. Finally, the judge said, this woman is bothering me. I will see that she gets her rights or she will bother me until I am worn out. So she kept asking and going back day after day, asking for what she wanted. She didn't give up. And he finally gave in and gave her exactly what she was asking for. She never gave up. Now, after Jesus finished the story, he said, learn a lesson from the judge. God's people cry to him day and night. God will always give them what is right, and he will not be slow to answer them. I tell you, God will help his people quickly. There is never a time that we go to God and he doesn't give us what we need or what is right. But we have to go to God. We can't go to God and just expect it to be just like that. We have to go to him and believe that he's going to answer our prayers. Believe that we can take anything to him. I know you've heard your parents or your grandparents say, take it to the Lord in prayer. That is one of uh, the truest statements there is. We need to take everything to the Lord in prayer. Have you ever been in a situation 
that was so hard that you wanted to give up. Maybe you were having trouble in school with your schoolwork. Perhaps you and your friend had gotten into a disagreement and you just couldn't work it out. Or maybe one of your classmates kept being unkind to you, like being a bully, and you just wanted to give up. Well, we have to look at this, this lesson tonight, knowing that there are no times in our lives that we should give up on God. So anytime you have those situations, you take them to the Lord in prayer. You ask him to help you. You ask him to lead you. You ask him to give you direction. God, how do I do this? What do I need to do? What Jesus wants us to learn from this story is that God, our heavenly father, loves us and wants to do nice things for us. He wants what is best for us and he has the wisdom to know what is best. So we can look at that um, as your mom, your dad, your grandparents. They have the wisdom to do the best for you. But if you ask, can I have six cups, six bowls of ice cream? Would it be wisdom for them to say, yes, you can? No, but you can have one. So the wisdom to give what is best comes from our parents, our grandparents, and it ultimately comes from God. God is going to give you what is best for you, what you need. But we have to go to him and we have to ask him for it. So I'm gonna um, let you watch a quick video because when we go to God, we go to him in prayer. And so this video talks about what prayer is and what prayer is not. What is prayer? Prayer is not like talking to a stranger. Prayer is like talking to a good friend. Prayer is not talking to a ghost. Prayer is talking to a real person, even though we cannot see him. Prayer is not always quiet. Shh. Prayer can be loud. Prayer can also be sung. Why, prayer could even be yodeling if that's what you want. Your lady, your lady, your lady. Prayer is not like giving Santa Claus your wish list. Prayer is telling God what you need and trusting Him to give you what's best for you. Prayer is not demanding that God do what you want now. Prayer is asking for help. Prayer is not only for when you are at church. Prayer is something you can do wherever you are, even at a costume party. Prayer is not just thinking about ourselves. Prayer is asking God to help others. Prayer is not something you do just once. Prayer is something you do over and over. That's why Jesus taught us in the Bible to pray and don't give up. Amen, amen. So we found out what prayer is and what prayer is not. So what I want you to do this week is think about this lesson and begin to ask God, go to him in prayer for those things that you need. You can even go to God, even as I talked about that you can go to God in song, you can go and sing songs to him. God loves when we praise him. There is no age limit on prayer. 
You could be in kindergarten and pray to God. You can be um, 80 to 100 and pray to God. But it is communication with God. And the more we pray and the more we go to him, the more uh, we learn about him, the more our faith builds, and the more we, we get closer and closer to him. So we know what prayer is and what prayer isn't. We know how prayer is for us to um, exercise not giving up. Because whenever we want to give up, we have to go to God and ask him for help. So I thank you for listening um, and watching this, uh, this video. I cannot wait to see you um, the last Thursday of this month for our snack and Zoom meeting. And I pray that as you go back to school, whether it be virtually or um, in the building, I pray that you have a wonderful, wonderful, successful school year. And I can't wait to hear about it. God bless you. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.